Oakland, where two restaurants will be closing their doors for good after the owners say ongoing crime is killing their business. It's the last day for Le Cheval, a long-running Oakland institution. On the same block, Galetto Brazilian Steakhouse is also shutting down. Da Lin broke the story two weeks ago. He's back to talk to both owners on what they say others need to do to survive. The end of an Oakland institution. Dozens of loyal customers waiting in front of La Cheval for one last meal at this downtown location. Way over 20 years, I'm a Miss La Chevelle. I'm here to stand in line for over an hour just to get this good food. I'm gonna miss the great food. The food is, wow, it blows your mind. It's uh, very emotional. I'm the owner, Suntran, holding back tears, reflecting on the restaurant his late mother started. Crying. It's tough. It's tough after eight, 38 years. I have to stop it back. Sun blames the out of control car burglaries and violent crime for scaring many longtime customers away. He's not alone. Today's our last day. Eli Nascimento owns Galetto Brazilian Steakhouse. It is crime. It is definitely crime. Galetto is located three doors down from La Chavelle on the same block. The Raiders and Warriors players like Sean Livingston and Andre Ugudala used to eat here before the teams moved out of Oakland. I'm feeling sad, feeling let down. He says he survived the lack of office workers last year because people were still dining at night. But this year, he says customers stopped coming for dinner because the rise in robberies and car break-ins. He also lost workers due to crime. Right over there, he got robbed at three pistols in his head. He came back crying. He said, Eli, I can't take it and quit. Our customers over here, Cars being broken into right there. Oakland police report 10,581 car burglaries so far this year. That's a 42% increase compared to last year. And officers admit most people stop reporting break ins, so the number is likely much higher. Police say robbery is also up by 33 percent, 2,720 cases so far. Restaurant owners say city leaders have to do better so other small businesses can survive. There's strength in numbers. Unite forces and fight. Fight for a better Oakland. As for son at La Chevelle, he's heartbroken but thankful for all the memories. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. The support of our customer. They come in rows, hundred after hundred. This block is going to be pretty quiet after Sunday with two large restaurants gone. And it's not a bad location. Just a few blocks away from City Hall, the police department near the federal and state buildings. A lot of Oakland natives are angry, saying they can't have anything nice in this city. Suntran says he's taking a quick break after today. He hopes to find a new location to start Le Cheval outside of Oakland. As for Galetto Brazilian Steakhouse, they have another location in Arizona.